used it for the wing buds. It's a Hank Lightbright and holographic silver. And uh, basically I've taken a few strands out and there we are. And what I've done is I've just moistened it to hold it together. And basically much manage you can manage the material much better if you do that. Just if you keep it dry it just wants to go everywhere. But to tie the fly, I'm using this is a camera sign, it's a B one ten size ten. Thread I'm going to be using is a UTC thread in seventeen black. We just simply start at the eye. Put down a layer of thread until basically the thread's in line with the point of the hook. Now the two ribs in the fly I'm going to be using a Uniflex in white. Or originally it was called Flexi Floss. And I may call it Flexi Floss because I do that all the time, but it's a Uniflex now, uh, it's the exact same stuff. In this case as I say it's white. Then I'm going to use a, a small red holographic tinsel uh, for in between the turns of the Uniflex. Now, when you tie in your Uniflex, I prefer to tie it in the way down. The first thing I do is anti-clockwise spin the bobbin. This flattens the thread. And I catch on the top. And as I start to go down, I stretch the Uniflex. Spread the thread, turns out. Covers the body quick and thin. Now I don't let the, the thread go. Keep it tight. And then I come in and I catch in my second rib, in this case a red holographic. And then I wind back up. All the way up to where I caught in the Uniflex. To that point there. Stretch this small tail here. And then trim. Gives you a nice neat cut. There's a single turn to, to hold it. First rib to come up through is the Uniflex. There's one turn. To nice and tight first. And as you start to come up, loosen off slightly. Just think of the shape that you're building up. You want a tapered shape and get thicker as it goes. To really, when it comes to the, the very end, now you can move this a wee bit if you, can, if you think it's not enough. Just loosen off to get the shape that you want. And then three or four and more turns to make sure it's secure. Turn away the excess. And then bring the red holographic up through and in between each turn of the Uniflex. All the way. That point there, across your thread. Two or three turns to make sure it's secure. Now, what I'm going to show you here. You see the length of the Uniflex there? It's basically caught in the side, but as I wind up, you'll see that it actually stretches and comes with the thread because it stretches twice its length all the way towards the eye keeps everything nice and neat and then you can trim away the remains of your red holographic tinsel now what I'm going to do here is, is a, as I said for the wing buds the hanked light bright and this is holographic silver as I say I've moistened it to hold it together I'm just going to fold it round the thread around about a, an inch or so, an inch and a quarter and then slide it up underneath and then keeping the holographic underneath the shank or underneath the thorax wind the thread down towards the body try and keep a hold of it that point there and then bring your thread all the way back up now you want that touching so keep it nice and smooth a wee half hitch to stop the thread bouncing off you don't want the thread coming away when you're bringing your wing buds up and then either side, the reason you have different lengths, the short and the long obviously so that you can separate them just bring these on top now I'm going to put a couple of loose turns over the back, one, two now at this point what I'm going to do is let me check to see what I've got there and that looks okay. I'm looking to see these fibre, the, the light bright Partly, it's in line with one another, it's nice and it's not twisted too much. That looks okay. And then I'm going to bring my, my, need, my dubbing needle in. Get underneath the light bright and just 
Just the width of the needle is enough just to extend the wing buds slightly. Do that on both, both sides. You don't need to go crazy. Just check they're both around about the same length. If you can look, I'll just turn this, keep the thread tight so you can see what I've done. And that looks okay. You can tighten up with two or three turns more. Come in and trim this away. Nice sharp pair of scissors, make sure you get it cut nice and neat. And then tidy up. And then quite finish. And trim away your thread. And there we are. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna encourage the wing buds and the light bright to sit the way I want. If you want it tighter, you just bring your nail in and slide it along underneath. If this folds the very ends, tightens it up a wee bit better. As you can see, a nice wee twist on it, and that's what you're looking for. You can move it around to suit yourself before you add any, or before you colour or varnish. Now I'm going to use, you can use varnish, whatever you want to. I'm going to use some bug bond in this case, light. And I'm going to put a tiny drop on the top. And then using my dubbing needle, I'm just going to encourage this underneath, the th around the thorax first. And then the excess, just run it onto the body. Why keep that thin? Now if you can move your vice like I'm doing just now, it makes a big difference. Now you're looking for that shape, and um, there's a shape I like to see uh, in these buzzers, and that looks a bit right. And then I'm going to use my torch to set the resin. This is a pro torch. Personally, it's ten times better than the old one, the original. Sets the resin really quick. There's a lot of advantages to it. That, uh, to me, it sets it much better. And it only takes one barry. The barry will last a good two or three days, easy. And I've been using this a good couple of days and it's still okay. I'm just making sure it's well set before I do anything else. That's fine. And you'll find there's no residue, no grease, nothing coming off it. So it's perfect. Now this is where you can change or add a wee bit more colour to it. Uh, either orange or red. And I've got both permanent marker pen and a sharpie pen. One in orange, one in red. You can either works. Now, obviously because of the red body, I'm going to use a permanent red on this one. I'm just going to highlight the, the bottom section of the, the wing buds. So it's nice and bright. There we go. Just allow that to dry. Now I'm going to put some more bug bond on. Now it's just a wee tiny drop, not a lot. So I want to use that to actually cover the area where I've actually put the permanent pen, just to highlight that. I don't want to just change the shape too much. And then come in, once you're happy, and set it. And here we are. Now, what I like to do is put a fine coat of varnish over the top of this. A very fine coat. I don't want to add any more thickness to it or bulk to the actual image pattern. I want to just protect or put a coating over the top. It keeps everything nice and shiny. You don't have to do it. I just prefer to do it. I like to do it myself. Now, it's, this is just a normal Benyard's varnish. If it's thinned right down, it's like brand new. Just run it up. Now when the varnish dries, it shrinks and practically disappears. And there we are. And that there is the holographic grey boy, the light bright version. As you can see, it certainly catches many eyes, but it catches fish. You can put breathers on it. And you can, I've done a 
some here. Here's a, it's a UV version, so get one. And you'll like the look of it anyway. This is using the what they call I'll just the right name for it, the pearl blue. I've seen the name of this, the UV blue or purple haze, it's much the same. But there's the UV version. And with the breathers. All I've done instead of cutting away the light bright I've left it on. And as you can see it gives the impression of the gills or breathers as we would say. Uh, good pattern, nice pattern. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. And that's the holographic grey boy buzzer.